Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie. If you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with the Purpose. Okay, you guys. So, if you are new to my channel, I did want to go ahead and let you guys know that I do upload videos three times a week, beauty, lifestyle, and Bible, and it, they are posted three times a week at 10 a.m. So, with all of that being said, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Okay, so, today I wanted to kind of do something different, and I wanted to do, like, a full face of makeup using products that I received in subscription boxes. Now, the only things that aren't going to be from subscription bo boxes are my primers and my setting spray and I think and mascara. That's it. But they are still products that I that are affordable or that I got for free because of beauty reward beauty rewards programs for my birthday. So we are going to go ahead and get into that. And so the first thing I'm going to do that I've been trying out and I'm using this primer combo because I loved the way my makeup looked one day and this is just what I have found that has worked with these foundations and this combo. So the first thing I am going to go ahead and go in with is my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer Serum. And it's just like this. It has a really good smell to it. This is hydrating. I like to shake mine before I use it. Uh, the only thing that I don't like about this is that no matter how you fill it up, like the most you're gonna get is that much, but it's kind of perfect because it is the perfect amount for your face. So I just go and I put it all over my face, make sure that it gets everywhere. So whenever you first start blending this in, you you would think that like, I don't know, like it's just going to sink into your skin because it almost just feels like water. I was going to say liquid, but obviously it's a liquid, but it almost just feels like a water or something like that. Like it doesn't feel like your usual primers, like, like your silicone primers or your moisturizing primers. And you know, I've tried serums before and they feel like a little bit more towards the oily side, like they're not oils but they feel more towards the oily side. This one, like I said, feels like water. And then once it starts to dry down, you get kind of like a tacky, like a tacky base, I guess you could say. Like, I don't know, I like it. Okay, so the next thing I am gonna go in with is my Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. And you guys know I take the tiniest bit of this, or if you're new, you don't know, I take the tiniest bit of this and use this to fill in my pores and just more areas where I need a little bit more filling in or smoothness, which is usually just my cheeks and this area. Then excess, I'll just put right here between my brows. And then I do have a scar here. I used to break, don't mind my nails. I have two broken ones, I need to fix them. I don't feel like it. I might just cut all the other ones down to make them like a square shape until they fall off. So anyways, I was gonna say, um, I actually have a scar right here. I used to break out really, really bad. Like even before I had Ethan, I would just have like clusters of pimples right here and I would pop them and pop them. And my problem is, is that whenever I would pop them and it would scab over, I would hate the way the scab looks. So I'd pull the scab off and the deeper it would just get. So I do have an acne scar, like an actual scar where skin can't grow back because like I just basically ruined that layer of skin. And so I do like to put that primer right there. Okay, my fan is back there, so I'm gonna improvise today. But next thing I'm going in with, and I did get receive this in a BoxyCharm. This is my Skin & Company Truffle Therapy Illuminating Refresher Mist. Refresh Mist. Truffle Therapy Illuminating Skin Refresh Mist. That is what this is called. And when you read this, it does say that it helps tighten the pores. That's why I love to use this as a face, like a primer spray. And I mean, it's all right as a setting spray, but my favorite way to use it is as a primer spray. I feel like you get the most out of it. So the brow product that I'm going to be going in with is my Billion Dollar Brow Micro Blade Effect. And I believe that this I received in a boxy charm as well. So I am just gonna take my LA Girl pencil just to go ahead and brush 
through my brows and get them in place where I want them. And then this one I did get in the shade dark and this is just what the tip looks like. I believe I started using this because it did feel like a little bit dry the last time I used it. I, I don't mind it though, like it's not a bad product. It's just I wouldn't know how to keep product like flowing through because this is kind of like a felt tip. And so we're just gonna go ahead and start. The best way to use this is literally just to flick it through your brows. I don't like to use this on its own because I feel like I can't get the outlining that I want or the tail that I want. But it does look really pretty when you just take the time to really flick it through your brow and get those hair-like strokes. Okay, and now that we have those, you see how this just kind of makes your brows look really soft, really nice, really pretty. And this does claim to be waterproof, so once it's on there, it's kind of on there for the day. But now that I have that done, I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil. And mine is in the shade Blackest Brown. And I'm just going to touch up and like do some outlinings and finish off the tail. And that's about it. Now I'm just going to... Go ahead and just get some spots that maybe that missed, but I was scared to get because I didn't want to mess up what I had going on. Okay, so I'm just going to comb through those. Just kind of soften out that line that we created. brows are looking good today okay so now I haven't received like an eyeshadow primer in a subscription box so I am just gonna go ahead and go in with my elf eyeshadow primer I actually really like this I like this one a little bit more not a little bit I like this one more than the putty primer the putty primer can make your eyelids look textured at first but if you blend it in with a brush and then pat it down with your fingers and Blend your shadows in like it doesn't it doesn't continue to look textured. I think that that one is also better for somebody who might have more oily eyelids. Um, I don't, y'all. You guys know, you guys know my skin is a little bit more dry, so I like it, but it's not the greatest for my skin type. Or if you have dry skin, your skin type. Okay. Now to set that down, I am gonna go in with this. Ex ex everyday vacay coconut setting powder and i got this one in a boxy charm and i'm just going to set that down because the palette we're using today does not just have a matte white eyeshadow so we are just going to go ahead and set that down now the thing with this eyeshadow primer i will say is you do have to make sure you set it all down because even what i'm setting with is getting a little bit pouchy so just imagine if you went in there straight with eyeshadows, they would be a little bit patchy. And I'm just gonna do something soft and simple today, even though the, and I always say soft and simple, but it's gonna have a wing liner, but just like a new, nice neutral look with browns. Not a smoky brown, not a smoky eye again. If you follow me on Instagram or any of my social media, I'll put it in right here. I do like updates and stuff, but I post it on there like, does anybody else be like, hey, keep it soft and simple. And that day, like I ended up with like a brown smoky eye. So that's why I say that. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead with my moods palette. I did get this one in an Ipsy and these, these were actually named after emojis. But since I threw the box away, I don't really know what the names are anymore. But I love this palette. It's a beautiful palette. It's a great summer palette especially with all the pops of color and so obviously the first shade I'm going to go into is this one right here and I'm just going to go ahead and start buffing that into my crease and then to do that I'm just going to take this profusion brush and this one's just a brush that came in my profusion sienna's palette and profusion actually really does put like really good um brushes in their palettes and they're very affordable i think their most expensive palette i've seen is like 13 bucks but it's like a full-on like 
20 plus eyeshadow palette. So that isn't bad for 13 bucks and their eyeshadow formula is amazing. But to get back on the topic, these eyeshadows are actually really good, really pigmented and it can blend it really easily. That another that's a reason that's one reason why I haven't gotten rid of this palette. And another is because like I said, it's really good for summer and I don't have very many palettes. How many times can I say palettes? I don't have very many eyeshadows that are bright, bold colors. So that's another reason why I hold on to this one. We're just taking that into our crease. Blend, blend, blend. Okay, so now I am going to go ahead and take my Morphe M518 and I'm going to go in with the dark brown shade right here. And I'm just gonna put that a little bit lower in my crease and just um, deepen up the outer corner with that. See how pigmented these are? I barely tapped and I tapped off, like I barely dabbed into the, barely dabbed into this brown and then I tapped off the excess and it was still that pigmented as soon as I put it on my lid. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take that Pro Fusion brush that we put, applied that first shade on with, and I'm just lightly going to blend this side out because it is a lot more intense than this side. So I'm just gonna take that first brush and go ahead and blend that out. And since that's not like toning it down very much, I am just gonna go ahead and add just a little bit more of that dark brown to my left eye. What would you guys think if I did like a, another makeup challenge and it was only like doing all my makeup with my left hand since I'm right handed? I was thinking that that would be funny to watch and fun to watch at the same time. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. Cause I was just, I just barely, like I've been thinking on that, but it just barely popped up into my head again. Cause I was like, oh man. Like my right hand starting to hurt from blending so much. But I think it's cause like I always put a death grip on the brush when I know you shouldn't. So I'm trying to work on that, but still just the motion of blending can definitely tire out your hand and arm. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this highlighter shade that's in here right here and I'm going to place that as my lid shade. And I'm just gonna take this brush that I got off of Amazon. It's just a flat white haired brush. And I'm gonna tap off the excess just to make sure we don't get no glitter fallout on our face. And we're just gonna pat that. And like I said, I don't want it to be super intense. So this is actually perfect and it's super pretty. It's probably like the first simple eye look I've done in a while. Kinda went a little bit too high. So what I'm gonna do is go back in with that dark, that Morphe brush that we had the dark brown on and just kind of go around it and towards the edges. Just do a little bit more blending. That is your best friend when you're doing your makeup is blending. Okay, now what I'm gonna do with this is I am gonna take the white right here and I'm gonna put it closer towards my inner corner. Whoa, that's not white. Okay, that is definitely not white. To, to turn back now. So I'm gonna go back in with that other shade and just cover that up because I definitely thought that was gonna be white. Well then, it came off. It was like iridescent and it had like a purple, like it looks white. Let me see if I can swatch it. Okay, so this looks white in the pan, right? But when you swatch it, it has that purple iridescent stuff to it. So I was like, oh, okay. That's deceiving. Okay, so now that we're done with that, I do have a few eyeliners here that I got in subscription boxes, but since I don't want this to be like mostly products that I got in Ipsy, I am going to use the one that I got in a boxy charm. Okay, so do, I've gotten an Il Maquillage eyeliner. Love this one. The mellow one's not too bad either. It just kind of dries out fast when you're using it. And then I have the Hank and Henry one, which is actually really good. So these two I got from an Ipsy. This bottom one I've gotten from um boxy charm and i will just go ahead and swatch these for you so that is the um hank and henry one that i got in a boxy charm this one is the mellow brand that i got in ipsy see this tip this tip is a little bit more fat than the others but it is super black dang i want to use that one now <laughs> and then this is the most recent one that i've gotten which is il maquillage 
and they're all super black, super matte. I kind of like that they give you just a plain black matte eyeliner. So like I said, we are gonna use the Hank and Henry one today, just that way everything that I'm using isn't all from like Boxy Charm. I mean, all from Ipsy. So this one I did receive in a Boxy Charm. And these, this tip is actually more like, um, almost like a brush tip. Let me see. This one's almost like a brush tip, but it's more so um, shaped like a felt tip, if that makes sense. So it's like a brush tip on a pin eyeliner. It's the strangest thing. And this is the shade Blickety Black. That's one eye. It is pretty easy to work with. Okay. And voila. All done. So yeah, that is it. Okay, and now... Okay, so now we are going to go ahead and go in with mascara. So first, I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes. And then... I'm going to go ahead and go on with the Milk Makeup Cushion Mascara. And this is what you get. You get like a little set from Sephora for your birthday gift this year. You get a Kush Fiber Mascara. And then you get a little sample of the Hydra Grip Primer. And then the Milk Makeup um, Lip and Cheek little stick. And this one's in the shade Work. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and coat my lashes. I have been playing with this already and I really like this mascara. And then from Ulta, I got the $10 off because I'm a platinum. And then I got, what did I get? Um, Benefit Big Bang, Bat, Big Bang Bad Gal Mascara, whichever one it is. It's the black and pink tube. Not the roller lash, but like the other one. And I have received mascaras from Ipsy. I haven't received any mascara. I haven't received any mascaras from boxycharm but i did receive the thrive cosmetics mascara from ipsy but that mascara just like wasn't my cup of tea it wasn't what i like so i was just like no so i did give that one away and then i did receive the douce punk volumizing mascara and i actually really do like that one but only for my lower lashes but i didn't want to do that today because it also is like super duper wet and i don't feel like fussing and fighting today so Lashes that we're gonna go in with. I haven't received lashes in a subscription box. So what I'm gonna go in with is my lashes that I have come out with. My name for my business is Her Lashes. This is in the style Heavenly. This is just what these look like. And so I will tell you that my lashes are best and easily applied when you do fit them to your eye. So when you do trim them and you do make sure that they fit your eye perfectly. That is exactly what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to measure them for my eyes. And so like there is a little extra band here on them. So I'm gonna cut it off from this end and this end and then measure. So when I measure them, I do line up the inner corner, like as far as I want it to go. And then I just set it on my eye a little bit. And so I didn't want it too close. So I am going to cut off like just like this one little whiff, little chunk of hair, I guess you could say. And then you just apply them. Then I'm going to use my Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. A lot of people like tell you to wait for this lash glue to dry down a little bit but if you see like it comes out white and what I do is I wait till it all turns blue and then I apply it because I feel like that's whenever it's like it's perfect consistent consistency because I've tried waiting like the 30 seconds the one minute and to me that's just too dry and that's whenever you can get it like popping up over and over and over again and so I do wait just a little bit I will blow on it like I said I wait till it's like a really bright bluish color i guess you could say and then i pop it on so lashes are on and now we can go ahead and get in with the skin so the two foundations that i have received in subscription boxes and ironically enough i i like mixing these and one of them i have to mix or it doesn't fit my skin type okay so i have the becca aquiluminous or what know what i'm talking about so i have the becca ultimate coverage foundation and the wonder beauty nude illusion foundation and so before i do that though i almost forgot so i'm glad i looked at my table one concealer that i did receive from boxy charm is my pretty vulgar 
concealer and it's the undercover concealer and I have mine in the shade 63 middle ground now this is actually too dark for me so what I do with this because it is like super orange I go in and I color correct with this so I still found use to it for it because I was actually like on the hunt for a color corrector so this actually came in handy so now what I'll do is I'll just take my sponge and I'll just go ahead and lightly tap in that color corrector. Now I don't want to blend it away. This concealer is really easy to blend away. I do like the um, the formula of this concealer. I think it's, I think, I think it's advertised as like a gel formula. And I do actually agree with that. The It's not. Like, I don't know, but it is easy to blend away. And even though I am putting it right here on my under eyes, it doesn't cause any additional creasing or anything like that. So yeah, I just like to also put it on my blemishes just to kind of cancel out that purple red undertone that they bring out. Okay, now that now that the color correcting is done, let's just go ahead and get this upper lip, little purple around here. Okay, so now that that is on, I do go ahead and go in with my Becca ultimate coverage foundation and I'm only going to take one pump of this and this one I got in BoxyCharm and we're just going to go ahead and dab this on our face. Like I said I'm not going to take very much. I got mine in the shade Buttercup and then next I will take my Nude Illusion Wonder Beauty foundation. This one's in the shade Medium and this one I got in my Ipsy and I believe they both run for this about like in the same price range. I believe that this one's either 39 or 40 and then the Becca one's 42 or I could have the prices mix matched. I will put it on the screen. So now that that is all on, I am going to go ahead and take my, oh, I should have used, sorry guys, I already wet my sponge. I should have used my Luxie Beauty sponge. I actually do really like the one that's meant for the liquid foundations, which is the gray one. So that actually is a good sponge, but I just forgot about it, you guys. And I forgot in the midst of me wetting my sponge what video I was filming. So we are just gonna go ahead and use our Wet n Wild Beauty one today. I do try to switch up my sponges. Also, I try to go with whichever one is clean. And I had just used my Lexi one yesterday, so it is not clean. And I just cleaned it yesterday. And I'm here to tell you, them sponges are not the easiest to clean. And also, Another thing about the foundation, when working with that Becca foundation, you do have to work with that one fast. Because if it dries, you will see spots. I've tried using it on its own. And like I said, I just personally can't use that foundation on its own. It's too dry for my skin. And it dries really, really fast. So you have to work with that one pretty quick if you're using a brush. Um, a sponge will kind of help moisten it. Moisten it. Like, yeah back up and like get it to where it's easier a little bit easier to blend out but you do have to work with that becca one a little bit fast okay and i know that i didn't get this in a subscription box but i have been loving this combination of this concealer with like this base combo and that is the elf hydrating camo concealer and i have mine in the shade medium peach so i'm just going to apply this and go in and blend it out Okay, and then we are going to go ahead and go back in with that Ciate, Ciate London Everyday Vacay Powder, Coconut Powder. I actually really like this powder. The only thing that I don't like about it is that it does lighten your foundation. It also does claim to be flashback proof, but I'm here to tell you that it's kind of not. Like it doesn't, it's not terrible, but because it already lightened, I don't know. It, it's, it's, it's hard to explain, but it's like it is, but it isn't. Like, I guess you'd have to be very picky with the lighting, but I'm pretty sure, like, in a dark room, if you use flash, this has flashback. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Another thing about the Becca foundation, because I tried to apply it the same way that I do my CoverGirl uh, matte, matte Made foundation, where I don't set the rest of my face, it's just where I put concealer. But if you don't set the rest of your face down, it will oxidize and turn, like, an orange color throughout the day and then it looks like you don't know how to pick your foundation shade. So I do recommend setting that even if you do have dry skin just use hydrating primer, hydrating setting spray. 
because you do, like I said, that's so definitely a foundation that does need to be set down or it will change colors on you throughout the day. Okay, now that all the powder and done is everything, we are gonna go ahead and go back in and finish up our little lash line. So I had two things here that I was meaning to put on before I powdered. Um, I'm kind of, it's like I kind of want to try it, but I'm kind of scared. I mean, I guess we could just try. So I am gonna go ahead and go in with this Milk Makeup Stick and just apply it like just a little bit. And I'm gonna take it on my sponge and close this powder before I drop it and then I'll be mad. So I'm just applying it to my sponge like this. This is how I applied it yesterday, but also yesterday I remembered to do it before I applied my powder. So we will see. I'm just gonna pat that on top. It's not picking up the foundation or the powder. So that's really good. It's not sticking. It actually doesn't look bad actually looks really pretty. Now, do I have to keep this little plastic thing on top of here? Like, let me know if you know, but I've been keeping it on there. I don't know, I guess I'm scared for it to dry out. And then also I have, I did get this. This is a Ciate London, London Dewy Stick. And so what this does is it just adds like a very pretty, nice glow from within type of ordeal. Once again, I'm just taking this directly on my sponge and I did get this one in my Ipsy. And I got the powder, the Ciate London powder in a boxy charm. I think I've kept you up to date since that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna lightly apply that to the places that I typically highlight. Um, with certain powders, you do have to be careful with this and not go over it with because it does kind of pick up the powder. This powder, I guess, is just a good powder to do this with. Like, if you have a cream product, like, I guess it's kind of okay. Guys, I'm sorry for the lighting. I still use natural lighting and ring lights. So sometimes the lighting's in and out regardless. I really like to film on, like, 100% pure cloudy days. Not partially cloudy, but overcast cloudy days. I feel like that's the best lighting for me. Okay, so now that we did do that because I forgot, let's go ahead and go back in with our lower lash line. So I am going to go back. First one I'm going to go in with is this light brown shade right here. And this one I'm going to do just a little bit more blowing out since it is a light shade. And I'm just going to, like I said, I'm not going to be too precise with this one. And then I'm going to go ahead and go in with the dark brown shade and I am going to be a little bit more precise with this one and just kind of focus it on the outer corner as well. Okay, so like I was saying, I'm going to go in with this ColourPop Gel Cream Eyeliner in the shade Honey Dude. And I didn't get this in the subscription box. I didn't get this as a free makeup gift. I actually bought this, but... The only eyeliner I received was a black one, and it's a Kohl eyeliner, like K-H-O-L. And it's actually really, really good, super pigmented, but I just felt, like I said, I wanted to go a little bit more soft today, so nude eyeliner it is. Okay, and then going back in with that Kush Fiber Mascara, or Kush Mascara, we are just going to go ahead and coat our lower lashes. Okay, so now that eyes are done, let's go ahead and get into finishing up this face. Okay, so for bronzer, I am gonna take this Gigi Gorgeous bronzer that I got from an Ipsy. And I actually do really like this bronzer, it's super pretty. And we are just gonna go ahead and obviously bronze up our face like this. And I just swirl both colors together. And then for blush, I did get this in an Ipsy as well. Um, I've also gotten a blush from BoxyCharm as a Ciate London. I forgot, I've gotten a lot of, C like all my Ciate London is from Boxy, uh, from subscription boxes. But I did want something a little bit that's closer to this sh this shade. The, the Ciate London one is just a little bit too deep, a little bit too uh, like mauve rosy. So I do want to go in with the shade Dauphine out of this Lovecraft Beauty palette and just apply that. These are super soft, so be careful with them. And see, it doesn't take much to get your cheeks where you want them. And one thing I'm liking about that cream is that it's like other products are applying just fine over top of them. 
And then last but not least, this isn't the only highlighter I've ever gotten. I've gotten a lot of cream highlighters and liquid highlighters from Boxy from Ipsy, which is also where I got the dewy stick. But one thing I did receive from Boxy Charm is this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. And I have mine in the shade Vanilla Quartz. At first, you think that this is gonna like be too light if you're like a my skin tone or um, like medium skin tone, but it's actually not. It actually comes off more gold than it looks in the pan. And then we are gonna also highlight our inner corner with this. So I'm just gonna take this on the inner corner. Okay, now for lips, I do have two lipsticks here. I did receive this one, which is the Mana Beauty Simplified. This one is, this is their lip whip in the shade Faith. And this is just the color of that. This is actually a really pretty color. If you go back to my mukbang with my sisters, Faith is actually wearing this color. And it looks super pretty and it lasted her like the whole video, even through her eating. And then I have the Touch and Soul Soul pretty filter soul velvet lipstick in the shade soul rose and then and that's what that one looks like so i think i am going to go in with this one just because my lips are feeling super duper dry and i don't really want like a matte lipstick right now does that one match i don't know no i'll just go ahead and go in with the one that i got from boxy charm in the lip whip in the shade faith i feel like that that would match a lot better even though my lips do feel a little bit dry. Let's go ahead and take this stuff off of them. Just because they feel dry, I don't mean they look dry. So we'll give it a go. Okay, so I'm just going to take my LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner. And I have this one in the shade Blushing. Okay, so just contoured my lips a little bit. Now going in with this one, we are just gonna apply that as well. Okay, now I will say one thing that I don't love about this liquid, like this lip whip, is that it does feel tacky for a really long time. So it's definitely not, it's definitely not transfer proof. So just always keep that in mind. Okay, and then last but not least, I do have this iconic London lip plumping gloss in the shade Nearly Nude. I also got this one in a boxy charm, so we're just gonna go ahead and just put that. I don't know. We can do a glossy lip. I'm just kind of focusing that in the center. Okay, so before we set our face, I do wanna go ahead and, or before I set my face, I did go ahead and kind of fix my hair. I kind of wanted it a little bit messy because it looks really pretty with today's outfit, which you will see in my spring slash summer clothing haul. And yeah, so now we're going to go ahead and set our face. I left my hair a little bit messy. I'm kind of letting my edges breathe for a little bit because I usually like slick them down. So what I'm going to go ahead and go in with this, I really, really like this setting spray and it actually is really affordable. I believe it's three dollars on Ulta.com, and so this is the Revolution Pro Fix Setting Spray. This does smell like cough medicine, though. Fair warning. And then you guys know I love to go in with my Elf Glow Dewy Mist, and we're just gonna spray the butt of our sponge. Just tap off a little bit, and then where we want the most do first, and then all over our face. Close this blind and it got cloudy again. Okay, so that is it. I'm gonna go ahead and fan ourselves off. Okay, you guys, that is it for today's video. I did go ahead and throw on some hoops and some necklaces. I hope that you guys enjoyed this makeup look and what I was able to create with makeup that I have gotten from subscription boxes. You guys, if you want to build your collection, subscription boxes are your best bet. Your now, I mean, Ipsy Glam Bag Plus costs the same as BoxyCharm. So, I mean, if you're paying pretty much $50 a month and you're getting all the makeup you could, that's if you get both. If you don't, you're paying $25 a month. And your makeup will, makeup, skincare, beauty in general, your collection will just grow over time. That's how my collection has grown so much. Like, I just up recently uploaded a 
I've recently uploaded a my, my makeup collection video and I also uploaded a declutter slash organize, reorganize my makeup with me. And I feel like even since then, which has only been a couple of months, I need to like update you guys on like what I have and things like that. But I think that's why like it's good to do like hauls and what I'm buying and like trying new makeups. Like you guys can still see what's being added to my makeup collection. Like I said, your best bet if you are on a budget is just to pay the $25 a month and don't buy any additional makeup other than like things that you have to replace like foundation, concealer, brow products, mascara. But I would also just wait to buy any makeup for the month, which is what I have been doing, to see what you actually get in your box, to see what you won't have to pay like additional money for to replenish. So with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this today's video. If you have gotten any of these products that I mentioned today, because some of them are from a few boxes back, let me know what you thought about any of them down below in the comment box. If you want to see something else like this where I can go through and use, use different palettes and a different eyeliner and different lip products, like anything like that, go ahead and also let me know that down below. If you liked this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, if you have not and you like me because I like you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.